these two walls, you just remove them, right? To remove them, you draw first, this is the front of the floor, right? You just move from this corner, you draw the back line of that wall, right? And now the same thing, this is the exterior, now you're going to draw the interior from this, this wall, but back there, right? So you go to this point, by going to it, I don't know if I'm doing this right, because it's hard to, to get the right angle. But anyway, you see that, right? Then the same thing on the ceiling edge, right? And where they intersect, that's the interior wall, right? And then this wall meets that ceiling line that comes to this point from these two, right? And there you are, that's the interior opened up. You see that? Yes. It's very simple. You look at it complicated because some things confuse you. Now, of course, that's just the frame, but in all good one point or two point perspective, that frame has to be noticeable. You have to see it. And that's why I was helping a lot of you choose a space where you could define those. You follow me? So that you would see those. And that's why this one is successful, because you can see, I mean, this is not a straight up and down wall, but you can see this plane kind of defining that spatial boundary in this plane, and you can see this kind of like an angle ceiling, this like an angle ceiling, this like an angle wall, right? Like angle walls. You see that? And everything is getting away from you into a one point, and you see the back wall, you see this being higher than this floor, you see that. 